Nick's here, and today we're going to be getting serious. I've got my miner's helmet on. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use electricity in this game, just like this. All this fancy stuff, and it's way more it's way less complicated than it looks. So I remember when I started playing Ark, I wasn't too sure how to do stuff, so I'm going to stop making all of this. And this is basically what you're going to need for this. You're going to need an electrical generator, just kind of the most important thing. You're going to need uh, cables, so I'm going to make some of those right now. So the uh, the generator is just like this. That's all cost 25 metal ingots and 10 electronics, super cheap. You're going to need some cables, straight electric. So I'm just going to make some of these, like two of them is going to be good. and an intersection and they're they kind of work the way irrigation does so you can get inclined ones vertical ones or all sorts of them but I'm just gonna be using these and you also need an electrical box so I actually need some wood so let me do that real quick that's not the right test yeah you're only gonna need one that's all I'm gonna be using and I also have some different stuff I'm going to be using a fridge and a lamppost, which is the stuff that needs electricity to run. So I'm going to be showing you guys how this all works. So I'm just going to be coming right over here. This is what I use for taming different stuff. I can just drop them in with my RG, but we're not going to be needing it for that today. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use electricity. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put down your electrical generator. And you can see this is just what it looks like. It's quite small. So I'm going to put it right in the corner here. Just like that. So this is what it looks like. And you have to access its inventory. And what it needs to run is gasoline. So the way to make gasoline is it costs 3 oil and 5 hide. And you get 5 gasoline from it. I already have some here, but you just have to uh, smelt... Like I said, smelt three oil and five hide inside of a forge, and it should give you five gasoline. Then you have to put it inside the generator, otherwise you will not be able to turn the generator on. When you turn it on, that's what it looks like, and it makes a noise just like that, and then you can turn it back off. And you see it used one gasoline for running in that time. Because uh, when you turn it off, when you turn it on, it uses one gasoline automatically. So if you keep continuously turning it off and on, you will burn through gasoline extraordinarily fast. So don't do that. Just leave it on. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to use a cable. It doesn't really matter. Any cable. And you can't really see it through the floor in here, this stone floor. But you should be able to see it uh, over here. I can kind of show you what they look like because I've got a wood floor in here. These are the cables, what they look like. They're, they light up yellow when they're attached to a generator and they just come out just like this. So now I'm going to come back over here. Sorry, this is a lot of cardio. So I'm going to run right back over here where our generator is and I'm going to show you how to put them on. So you just, you have to kind of find the snap point. Oh, I'm dehydrated. There should be just a snap point anywhere. It can come out of all the different sides. So you can see the green right there, uh, just there, of the snap point. So Bam, I just put it down, and it's actually coming out in this direction. And now, you're just going to need, you can keep continuing out with cables however far you want, but I'm just going to put an electrical outlet right there. And you can see this green thing for the box. So there you go, that's all it looks like right here. And now, you will be able to use electricity. So, I can put in a fridge now, and it's unpowered. You can see that. And then you can also see this line from the electrical box to where the fridge is, and that means that it is in range. If you have something that's too far away from this electrical box... Okay, <laughs> if you have something that's too far away from this electrical box, it will not be able to power it. So if there's not a line coming from your electrical box to there, it either means that your cables are not hooked up to your generator, or it means that whatever it is that you're trying to power is too far away from the electrical box. And there's just a really easy fix for that. You just need to make more electrical boxes around what you want to power. Then I can also put in a omnidirectional omnidirectional lamppost, which is what I have inside of my house. Okay, 
Why why is everything just running into my spike walls? Damn, like they're spike walls, don't run into them. So you can see this is also unpowered. Now when I turn my generator on, it should say powered, just like that. And with this light you can turn it on and off. So it's really simple. This is how you basically use uh, electricity and anything that says you need a generator to it, this is exactly how you use electricity. Thank you for watching and I hope you all learned something from this even if it was just one thing. Bye!